Well, good evening. Welcome to our service of evening prayer. <clears throat> the Bible reading this evening in our shortened version of evening prayer is Mark chapter 5, 21 through to 34. And so, let us begin. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. From Psalm 85. O God, will you not give us life again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Truly his salvation is near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth, and righteousness look down from heaven. Righteousness shall go before him, and direct his steps in the way. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and for ever. Amen. So we move to our scripture reading, which today, as I said earlier, is from Mark chapter 5. From verse 21. When Jesus went in the boat back to the other side of the lake, a large crowd gathered around him there. A leader of the synagogue named Jairus came there, saw Jesus, and fell at his feet. He begged Jesus, saying again and again, My daughter is dying. Please come and put your hands on her so that she will be healed and will live. So Jesus went with him. A large crowd followed Jesus and pushed very close around him. Among them was a woman who had been bleeding for twelve years. She had suffered very much from many doctors and had spent all the money she had, but instead of improving she was getting worse. When the woman heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his coat. She thought, if I can just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Instantly her bleeding stopped, and she felt in her body that she was healed from her disease. At once Jesus felt power go out from him, so he turned round in the crowd and asked, Who touched my clothes? His followers said, Look at how many people are pushing against you, and you ask who touched me. But Jesus continued looking round to see who had touched him. The woman, knowing that she was healed, came and fell at Jesus' feet. Shaking with fear, she told him the whole truth. Jesus said to her, Dear woman, you are made well because you believed. Go in peace, be healed of your disease. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our Gospel Canticle has the refrain, You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, 
and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. And so let us pray. This evening we have a period of silent prayer and reflection before moving to the Collect and the Lord's Prayer. So let us pray. Abide with us, Lord, for it is evening, and day is drawing to a close. Abide with us and with your whole church, in the evening of the day, in the evening of life, in the evening of the world. Abide with us and with all your faithful ones, O Lord, in time and in eternity. Amen. This evening our Lord's Prayer is in Welsh. So let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Ein tard, er hunwitten in a voith, sanctadia de renu, dele de denas, gunale de rewellis, megis an an erd, vetli a rave ar hevid, de roini hedi en barabanathion, a mathaini en de legion, vela mathaini na en de ledwir, a claca roini e brud de gaith. Eith yr gwared ni rhag prwg, can y seifwt ti o'r deyrnas, a'r nerth ar y gogoniant, yn oes y swydd. Amen. I will conclude with the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow evening for Wednesday's evening prayer. Bye for now.